and fire crews are still battling a fast-moving wildfire in Ventura County. In all, there are four major wildfires racing across Southern California tonight, devouring homes and exhausting firefighters trying to save them. More than 80,000 acres have burned. Action News reporter Corey James is live in Ventura County tonight with the help being provided by fire crews from the Central Valley. Corey. And dozens of firefighters from the Central Valley are out here battling that blaze right now, a blaze that has devastated a number of neighborhoods and homes like this one in just three days. But with expected wind shifts tonight, firefighters do not believe the conditions will improve. About 48 hours in, Central Valley firefighters remain on the ground working to put out the growing Thomas fire. We have at least two engine companies from Fresno, uh, I think a water tender, uh, some battalion chiefs, an additional OES engine from Fresno City. I've seen people from Sanger, from Clovis, uh, from all the surrounding agencies. Captain Kobe Johns with Fresno Fire arrived in Ventura County Wednesday morning. He says strong winds are still presenting challenges and hampering firefighting efforts for crews trying to set control lines. Still very active fire. As of this morning, we were at zero percent containment. I expect we'll see that number jump up a little bit today with today's efforts, uh, but we're going to still see some fire growth. Well, families return home to the devastation. This is crazy. It's like Armageddon. At least 10 volunteers from the Central Valley American Red Cross chapter are also stepping in to support them. They're working in shelters to make sure that our residents are safe and comfortable. Chanel Felipe knows how important that is. She lost her home in the fire. But my landlord told me there's nothing but a chimney left. But despite her loss, she and a group of friends dropped off nearly $500 in goods like tissue, water, and food bars at the Red Cross's operation center. I have money, and it's like, I haven't lost everything, but I mean, there's a lot of people who just don't have anybody else, so I think that helping them in a time of need is a, good, is a good way to go. And one way to make an impact, especially during a period when firefighters say the situation could get worse. And because of how thick the smoke is, many people that we've been seeing around town have been wearing masks like this to cover their face. We've also learned that a number of people from from firefighters rather have been treated for eye injuries. They've also been treated for respiratory problems as well because of the smoke left behind from the fire. We're live in Ventura. Corey James, ABC 30 Action News.